guys welcome to another tutorial video and for this video we will be talking about how you can transfer files between your guacamole rdp or remote desktop protocol using windows operating system so this video is going to apply if you're using windows 10 11 or windows server so in order for us to do this we're going to open up our windows server virtual machine So I have a virtual machine running Windows Server 2022 Standard Edition. So for us to do this, you're going to go over to the Start button and you want to open up Settings. So once you open up Settings, you want to head over to Apps and you want to select the optional features. And then we're going to add a new feature and then you're going to search for SSH. So we are going to install the Open SSH Server. So once you press install, give it a few minutes or seconds, depending on the speed of your machine, and that should complete installing. You can see that the installation for the OpenSSH server is complete. Another way you can do to install this, if you don't want to go through that, is to open up PowerShell. Make sure you run this as administrator. And once that's open, you're going to run the command add windows capability dash online dash name followed by the SSH or open SSH dot server. And if you run that, that should go ahead and install open SSH server for you. So once you have that done, the next thing we need to do is check our windows firewall to make sure that the necessary ports are open for open SSH. Normally, when you install the open SSH server feature, it automatically opens the port in the firewall. So as we can see, we have the open SSH, SSH server firewall rule added. If you don't have this, you just have to create a new rule for to open up port 22 inbound to your Windows server or Windows 10 machine. For those of you who do not know how to create a new firewall rule, you're going to head over to the right side and you select the new rule option. And once that opens, you want to select a new port rule and then you select next. And then since we're opening up port 22 for SFTP or SSH, we're going to select TCP and then do 22 and go next. And we want to allow the connection, so we go next. And then we leave everything as default, next, and we give it a nice name. So in this case, we're just going to call it SSH. You can give it a description as well, and you select finish. Now if you look at the top, we see that a new SSH rule that we created has been added. So now that we're done installing the open SSH server and setting up the firewall or checking to make sure that our firewall was set up during the install, the next thing we're going to do is open up services. And then you're going to go and search for open SSH server. So we're going to open this up and we're going to set that to automatic. We're going to apply and then we'll start it up now. What this does is it makes sure that our S open SSH server service automatically starts on reboot. And the start option that we just did, we're starting the service as of now. And then you select OK. And we'll close that. Then we'll head back over to our guacamole. And we want to edit the connection that we wanted to um, transfer files with or create a new connection. So we'll select my RDP server here. As you can see, I have my um, network parameters already set. And then we're going to go below and find where it says SFTP. We'll enable that. And we'll enter the username and the password. So you want to put in the username of the user that you're going to use to um, log in with your RDP session. The same with their password. For me, I'm using administrator. So once you have that done, you're going to go ahead and save that. So we'll head back to the home page and then we'll try to connect. 
and now you see we are presented with um, the option to log in so once you enter your username and password and you log in so once you're logged into your rdp session you're going to use for windows users control out shift key on your keyboard to open up the site option if you're using mac you're going to do shift control command so once that's done you can see now we have our um sftp session or drive on the left hand side menu so once you open that now you can see we're able to access the c drive and the d drive of our windows virtual machine we can see the program files we can go to users and um, the default user administrator on our desktop so now we can try to upload a file using our guacamole rdp session into our windows server machine so we'll select the upload option and i'm just going to select this file and now we can see that the transfer is going through and once that's complete if we head over to our desktop we can see that even though the transfer is still getting completed the file is already showing to be on our desktop so if this completes we will be able to use that file so if i were going to go and upload another file so let's say for example i'm just going to upload this backup script because that's going to go quicker and that is already completed if we go back to our desktop and open up that script we see it was successfully copy to our windows virtual machine so this brings us to the end of this video i hope you like this video if you have any questions concerning uploading files using your guacamole rdp session you can leave it down in the comment section below or you can head over to our geek together hub community and post a question please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel